Now, before we move on, let's explore how the search options work. Let's select files and models. I'm going to type text here. And SolidWorks is looking for files. And SolidWorks has now found some files which match my criteria. Let's see how the search commands option works. For example, let's say I want to find a certain command, let's say a boss. We just type it in, and we get a number of options that pop up. We can click on the tool, SolidWorks will activate it. We can click on the glasses, and SolidWorks will show us the location of this tool, as you see here. Next, let's take a look at the bottom of the screen. This is what's known as the status bar. And if you don't see it, go to View and select Status. The status bar is where SolidWorks tells us which environments we're in. Currently, we see that we're in the part editing mode. Let's switch to a different window. Now I'm going to right click on the top plane and insert a new sketch. Take a look at the status bar. SolidWorks tells us that we're in the sketch editing mode. And as you can see, our sketch is currently underdefined. Down here, we can also select units. We're using MMGS, millimeter, gram, and second. Let's place a rectangle now in our sketch. OK. Now I'll select these two lines and apply an equal relation. OK. Now I'm going to add some dimensions. The status bar now tells us that my sketch is fully defined. In other words, the segments of my geometry can no longer be moved. While we're here, let me mention a couple words about the Dimension Input dialog window. Here we can specify the dimension name. We'll just enter some custom text, my dim, for example. And the dimension itself appears underneath the name. So my dim at sketch one, and there's the value. Here we can input dimension values manually. Let's say 14 millimeters. Tab to register. We've also got the option to choose units right here. Centimeters, feet, inches, and so on. We're also able to type the units in manually let's say 2 inches instead of 40 millimeters. Now let's click Update. That's the traffic light icon here. Notice I've got inches here in my dimension window, but I still show millimeters on the graphic area since we're working in the metric environment. We've also got the option to use negative dimensions. The next option here lets us set the spin increment value. That refers to the increment that we jump by when we click on these up and down arrows. We can set that value right here. I've got 10 millimeters. Let's change it to 5 millimeters. Press Enter to register and accept. Now our increments jump by 5 millimeters. We can also change the dimension, increase or decrease it, by dragging this scroll wheel in the Dimension Input window. The last button allows us to mark the dimension to be imported into a drawing. Let's click OK. And let's exit the Dimension tool by clicking OK. To edit any dimension, just double click on it in the graphic area. Let's cancel out. Mm -hmm. 